Good morning, y'all. I decided to do a what I eat in a day as a vegan pregnancy. As my vegan pregnancy. So, today, first thing in the morning, I'm just going to have this um, some lime water. In the case anyone doesn't know, when you, I, when you add, that's my son in the background. Go sit down. Go finish it. No, 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 no. Go sit in case down anyone doesn't know, when you add lime to your water, it makes it alkaline. And alkaline water is the best water for you. And I'm going to have some watermelon. And that's all I'm having for my pre-breakfast right now. So... Stop, Sean. So, I'll be back when I make some Bye. breakfast breakfast. Good morning, y'all. I am back. This is my, this is going to be our breakfast. This is a mashed banana. I'm going to make some spelt pancakes. And I got this recipe from um, Live Bees. She's a um, vegan YouTuber, and her recipes be really good. So we're going to have that, except for um, the only difference between her recipe is I'm going to add some cacao powder because I want to try some chocolate pancakes. And I'm adding some uh, vanilla. So... Her recipe says to add two cups of this uh, spelt flour. So we're going to add two cups of spelt flour. I know I'm going to make a mess because I'm only working with one hand. And um, let's not waste too much of this flour. It is expensive. Too expensive. It's crazy how the healthier you eat, the more you gotta pay. But it is what it is. What can you do? So, that's my two cups of flour and two tablespoons of baking powder. That's the baking powder. That's one tablespoon. And here's two tablespoons. Y'all forgot to get the uh, unprepared, forgot to get the quarter cup measure, measuring cup out. So she uses, I think she uses coconut oil, but I'm going to use grapeseed oil because I don't have no coconut oil. So use what you got. You can probably use butter, butter too, but. I'm not going to use butter because I'm going to make the pancakes in butter. So, I'm going to have butter overload. So, and three tablespoons of syrup. Should have had that open already. Um, three tablespoons. Yeah. One. <laughs> two. Three. I'm going to add some vanilla. I 
And we're gonna add some cacao power. I'm gonna add a little bit because I don't know how's it how's it gonna taste. But it should taste fine. I'm gonna add just a little bit. I'm not gonna add too much. And we just gonna oh snap. So y'all forgetting to add the goddamn milk. I think it was a cup and a half of milk. If not, then I'll just add more, add more flour if it's too much. But I think it was a cup and a half. And we're just going to stir this. Now, with, I think with all pancake mixes, you don't want to over stir the batter because then it starts to, um, the batter, not the batter, but the finished product will be tough. And I don't want no tough ass pancakes. So, I'm just trying to make sure I scraped all the banana from the bottom. That's all the stirring I'm going to do. And that's the batter. And I'll be back to show y'all the finished product because y'all know how to make pancakes in a pan. I don't have, um, what is that, a pancake griddle, whatever it is, where you can make like four pancakes at a time and stuff i'm not that fancy yet i'll get there soon but i'll be back all right y'all so this is the finished product these are the um what, what do you want to call them chocolate banana spelt pancakes so i'm gonna let y'all know right now how they taste because like i said i added um cocoa powder to it Let's see how it tastes let me give my son a piece all right y'all bussin Y'all gotta try it. It's bussin'. It's bussin'. It's so good. Alright, y'all. See y'all. Hey, y'all. So, I am back for lunch. I'm going to make this uh, upgrade of a grilled cheese sandwich. I put avocado and roasted tomatoes and mayonnaise on it. So I just wanted to show you what I used. I used this vegan mayo. It tastes just like regular mayo. I used a avocado. Daya grilled. Uh, Daya cheese slices. And roasted the tomato. So with the tomato. I sliced it. And I seasoned it with. Garlic powder. Some slap your mama Cajun seasoning and some Himalayan pink salt with a little bit of grapeseed oil and I put it in the oven at 400 for maybe 10 maybe 10 15 minutes but I already have one ready for me to make that's the cheese, the avocado, the mayonnaise, and the tomatoes. So I'm just going to take um, some Earth Balance and vegan butter. I know the pan looks dirty because I just made a grilled cheese for my kids. So I'm just going to use the same, same uh, pan. And that's the aluminum foil I use for the tomatoes. So... Just gonna take this and lay it in the pan. 
And we're going to put this other bread on top. I wish I had made some more tomatoes so I could have made two. But I didn't. So, I don't know. Maybe if I'm still hungry after I eat this one, I'll make another one. I'm going to take some of the vegan butter and spread it on the top. So that we can have a buttered toast on both sides. Yeah, that's enough. Y'all know how to make a grilled cheese sandwich. You make it just like you would a regular grilled cheese sandwich. You know, let the side get brown. Well, maybe two minutes and then flip it over so I do have it on the stove on medium high I have it on medium high so let's see if this is ready to be flipped over I don't want it to be too dark Flip this over. See? Perfect brown. And I do like to press down on my sandwich. I don't like it to be too poofy, too fluffy. And press down on it. That's the belly. Say hi, belly. And with this sandwich, I may have some cherries. Because I do have some cherries or banana. Or, um... One of these chewy nut butter bars. It's really good. So, this should be done. Quick and easy. Quick and easy lunch. Because I am hungry. So, let me get a plate turn up stove off because this should be done I really don't take that long to make a sandwich yep it is done I'll go ahead and cut this in half so y'all can see what the inside looks like. I apologize, I am working with one hand. So, this is what the inside looks like. Sorry, some of the, I didn't cut it all the way so some of the tomato fell out that slice. But, yep, this is what I'm going to have for lunch. And like I said, I'll have the snack bar or some cherries or some type of fruit on the side. So, I'll see you at dinner time. Bye. Hey, y'all. I'm back. Final meal of the day, dinner time. So, I am going to make um, some lemon pepper chickpeas with some jasmine rice. This this was from last night, so I'm not going to make any more because we still have more left. So, the ingredients I'm going to use is coconut milk, some chicken seasoning, Himalayan pink salt, Mrs. Dash lemon pepper seasoning, garlic powder, slap your mom. Y'all, I use this on everything some turmeric and grapeseed oil so I have I want to say a quarter of an onion chopped 
quarter of a bell green bell pepper chopped and a whole plum tomato chopped and two cloves of garlic roughly chopped and I have I rinsed off these uh, two cans of chickpeas in here so first things first I know it's still water in here and it needs to evaporate but I'm gonna start now so I'm gonna pour the oil some oil in here I'm gonna pour too much Pour some oil in there. Okay, we're gonna put these um, veggies in here, these onions. And bell pepper. Put the garlic in there. All right, so we're going to saute these vegetables for maybe five minutes. Maybe about five minutes and I'll be right back. All right y'all, it's been long enough. So we're just going to add in the chickpeas. And we're gonna add in the lemon pepper. I'm gonna add in some turmeric, really just for color. The turmeric is for color. We're gonna add in this chicken seasoning. The garlic powder. Slap your mama. For a little bit of spice. And some salt. And we're going to add in the coconut milk. I'm going to add too much. And we're also going to add in some water. Go ahead and give that a stir. Add in a little bit more turmeric for some color. Just not too much. And we're going to let that boil down. And sorry, y'all. I don't have a top for this uh, pan. So we're going to cover this with some aluminum foil and let it boil down for like um, 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes on medium. And I'll be back to show y'all the finished product. All right. All right, y'all, so this is the finished product. This is the fin. I'm sorry about that. This is the finished uh, product. 
coconut, lemon pepper, chickpeas, and um, that's that. That's dinner. Thank y'all so much for watching. You didn't have to, but you did. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.